Hello everybody, welcome back to Castle Clash. And today we're going to be attempting, probably going to do it, but attempting to hit 200,000 might. Now it's not going to be that hard. Um, it's, if anything, it's just going to be a long process. I think I have everything I need. I need honor badges. You see I have 8.4 million honor badges. I have all this golden mana. I have all these blessed tomes. You know, if I need for skill XP, I have it. Oh, let's get some. Alright. So, first off. Alright. First off, what I want to start off with would be getting the heroes that we want to upgrade first. So, it's going to be at the bottom. This is going to be Zephrica. I just bought him. Um, also, Ripper came with a different pack I bought, but we're going to leave him in there until we're comfortable opening him. This will most likely go in for Bloody Mary. Or Walla, because Rambard's already a healer, and Walla kind of just... Not counters it, but he's like just there at this point. And Rambard is a better healer. Anyway, we're gonna start by just upgrading Zephyrka first. Oh, first of all, let us we the there was a skin that came with it, Sun Lord. So let's first get a glimpse of what he looks like. This is what he looks like without any skins. So this is his uh, original form, I guess. So we're going to attach the skin and see what that looks like. Let's upgrade it first. Alright. That right there was enough. Alright, we also got some Rune Master uh, scraps. Not scraps. Yeah. Uh, skin, but I don't have Rune Master. Although that is a badass skin. I'll tell you that right there. That's a nice looking skin. Alright, so we got Zephyrka up to the first um, evolution which is going to be right now since we don't have any uh, extra uh, skins of, or sorry, cards, hero cards of his we're going to use 20,000 uh, shard, green shards instead and if you look we have 4.2 million so I think we should be good we should, oh, is it destiny? we'll do that in a bit there's so many things that we got to do Okay, so his level, or sorry, his equipment is max. We're going to augment it. Oh, sorry, I've got to buy 10 of these. Okay, boom. So augmenting the equipment makes it to where we can give his equipment traits. So this wasn't here before. But now, we're just going to do, we're going to do random for now. Work on the the good stuff later but actually that's really what I just rolled is really so we're gonna lock these three see if we can get not bad we're gonna try it one more time okay that's fine that's fine what we got we got four on attack oh but that one's two but it's attack Okay, yeah, we'll leave him alone for now. And we're gonna start his destiny. That's gonna give us not too too much. It's gonna give us a decent amount of power. Okay, so we got his destiny up to level 29, which isn't bad considering um I just got him. So we're gonna inscribe him as far as we can go with that 5.3 million mana we have. Oh shoot! That's right. We're gonna have to upgrade him again. Let's all right. Let's do that uh, real quick. Now, I just like to say, it is very possible that just maxing out Zephyrka and doing all the stuff we need to with him could get us. Could very well get us to 200k. 
um, it's not going to be very likely, but could could definitely get very 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 close. Word on the street that blade dance is good for uh, Laz Lazulux, Lazulux, or I think that's how you say their name, which I don't have. I have Zephyrka, and I have uh, what do you call it? I have uh, Lavonica. I I even have like Demogorgon and Arctica and Skeletica and all those other ones, other dragons. But I don't have. Lazulux, which apparently is really good, and Blade Dance is a very rare talent, so I don't want to, you know, just throw it away. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Do I have enough Zenith Stones to even do this? Oh, I do. We're just gonna keep going till we're out of Zen Stones because this Zephyrka needs to be as powerful as as we can get him. Look at all those igniting stones I have though. Can we talk about that? Oh, it's done. <laughs> it, was, it was done. All those igniting stones I have. 6,882. Wow. <sighs> anyway. So I heard it was good on Anubis, which, more like a noob, I don't know. We have Unholy Pact, which is fine. We'll just replace, and then we'll level it up. What? Oh. All right, level eight and level nine. Perfect, perfect. I don't think we're gonna hit 200k. Just so, uh, just saying. So apparently we already double evolved Zephyrka. We're going to inscribe this moho. Been waiting for days to do this. Just kidding. Uh, today's more of like a little, little chill episode. Just gonna. Little, you know, also a little focused on upgrading and trying to push to 200k, which I, to be honest, dude, was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But I mean, if you look, leveling up, we've almost gone up like 7,000 right now, so there's also the even smaller nitty gritty stuff that we can get into if we wanted, if we really wanted to. Um, get this to level 100. There's like those games I like to play around with and like goof off. This is Rise of Kingdoms. Um, this game is actually pretty fun. And I do enjoy actually learning the stuff required to know about this game. Which is weird because this game is over five years old. It's not like... It's not a very, very popular game anymore. And all this and that, so... But, you know, I, I just prefer the, the gameplay in this game over Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms are just like the troll. Oh, look, we hit 180k. Nice, nice. Still looking for a goddamn... We're just gonna give him Flame, flame Guard, I guess. We're just gonna give him Flame Guard for now. Uh, just as a temporary destiny, we put up a bit more. So now he's 31. Um... Is he really max? Dang, I didn't even realize I had already double evolved him. Anyway, we're going to go into battle, see how he does against the world. If I remember correctly, Zephyrka's a attacker, and Lavonica is the defender. Like, oh no no, shite. Out of Lavonica, Lazulix, and Zephyrka, Lavonica is the defender. So let's just put him in, see what he does. 
Okay, so his ability, or skill, rather, targets the heroes. That's nice. I do prefer Boreal Fox, though. Look at that. <laughs> well, Boreal Fox's skill. I admire Zephyrka's goddamn skin and the way he looks. But look at Fox, though. Anyway, Boreal Fox's uh, skill is really nice. What? Connection failed. I'm on my account. Wait, what? That was weird. Um, I got hacked. <laughs> I don't even know. Did I win? I don't know. I mean, you all saw what he did. Oh, how about against... Loser heroes like these. Zephyrka, can you do that? Yeah, he basically one shot. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Well, god damn it, I didn't even push that much. And this is gonna be a long video. We're gonna do this two parts. So this is gonna be part one, pushing the first part. Um, next part we're gonna push is I might do Ripper next. I might just go all out on Ripper or just finish these guys off. Um, with all the XP I have, I could probably do that. You know? I don't have enough level 200 heroes. And let's look at my heroes ult real quick. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. Well, if we're talking about max, we're going... None of my heroes are maxed because of breakthrough. But we're talking about breakthrough level 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. My heroes have breakthrough levels. And I think Atlantic Core can get his breakthrough. I just didn't do it yet. I would goddamn do that. Hold up. Night. Night. Okay. Now there's 15. <laughs> Alright, well, if you liked this video, because that was all for the episode, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This will be part one. Part two will come out probably the day after this comes out. And uh, with all of that being said, Static is out.